very good afternoon, everyone. I'm Rob Linton, joined by Derek Lucas. Derek, we have a special guest with yes, us. Yes, we do. From France, Mr. Jean-Michel Pilk. Welcome to Rochester. Thank you so much. It's good to be here. Playing two shows tonight at Hatch Hall at 5.45 and 7.30. We love your music, Jean-Michel. It gets so much richness and happiness to so many people here in the area when they hear you play and the notes that you bring out. But for you as a composer and a creator, what's it like to make that kind of music? Well, I don't know. I don't know. It's very, it, you know, that's typically to me. Music is typically the kind of typically the kind of thing that if you talk about it, it never really rings true because you know what you feel has really nothing to do with words. To me, it's more like feelings, you know, images, emotion, emotions, of course. And as soon as you try to put it in words, it's it's gone, you know. So that's why I prefer to talk in music, and I think that's my way of expression. Speaking with the great Jean-Michel Pilk here on Jazz ninety point one. Michelle, you mentioned something a few years back that when you, your playing style changed when you became a parent. And I thought that was pretty interesting when you said your life changed and so did your playing style, how you approach music. Can you talk about that? Because it happens to all of us when, we, when the changes in our lives happen, especially becoming a parent. Well, I guess when you switch from eight hours sleep uh, per night to three hours sleep per <laughs> night, your brain <laughs> undergoes quite some changes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> but seriously, yeah, I think everything in life that you experience changes your music. I mean, my music changes every day. Sometimes it changes over the course of one set. You start one set in a certain state of mind, and suddenly in the middle something happens and it becomes completely different, and there's no way of knowing why or how or whatever. It's, just, it's like life, really, seriously. You know, when you, when, you, when, you, when you live, when you experience a day, there are moments where you feel extremely different from some other moments. I really think that we, we are different people every second. Sometimes we forget that, but uh, I think music is also about that, about that continuous change, you know? Speaking with John michel Pilk. John michel talk about what's the most challenging thing about playing solo, and what's the most rewarding thing about playing solo? Well, the most rewarding thing is definitely that you don't have to worry about your side man and, you know, get annoyed <laughs> by that. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> well, the, I think the, the most... The most difficult thing when you play solo is that you are the whole band. You know, you are the band. The band is you. So when you play trio, for example, you can always sometimes say, you know, if you have a, a moment in the concert where you feel like a little bit less inspiration, you can always say, well, those guys are going to give me the inspiration back, which they do very often. When you're solo, it's, it's almost like you have to create that band in your head. Sometime in the middle of a solo, I'm like, a solo concert, I'm like, well, this guy's not really inspired. Let's see what this other guy has to say. But it's all me, you know. So you have to create a band out of yourself. Mm. And that's how I, I envision solo. And I think that's uh, the most rewarding. And that's when it really works, you have that feeling of, of completeness, you know, that you also can have when you play solo, a, a trio. Or, but when you play solo and it really works, you have really that feeling that, I don't know, it's, it's, it's a very powerful physical experience. It's almost like you become music completely, totally. And we're going to share that powerful experience with you tonight, 545, 730. Jean-Michel Pilk, thank you so I much for joining us. I believe 745, by the way. Thank you. Thank you for the correction. Because we <laughs> and for those who are interested in my work, jeanmichelpilk.com, please go there. It's very interesting. There it is.